going to welcome everyone back to another YouTube video. Now, guys, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the Auto ID M2 style mirror unit on my M140i. Now, just to clarify, it's not just the covers, it's the actual whole unit. On my last few cars, I've always done just the covers, but apparently doing the whole unit just makes the whole thing a little bit cleaner. And it makes it look more like the actual M mirrors. So we're not only going to be doing the mirror units, we're also going to be doing some performance and handling modifications as well. Just subtle and small ones, but trust me, the car is going to look awesome when it's done. I don't really want to reveal too much about what we're doing in today's video, but if you do go ahead and enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's get into it. So first of all, we're going to start underneath the bonnet. Now first up we're going to be installing the ITG Pro panel filter, now they've kind of sent this out to me to feature in this modification series, so I really do appreciate that, and they also did the same on my old car, so massive thank you to the guys at ITG, really do appreciate it a lot. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and take up the whole airbox, now this is not compulsory, but what I want to do is I want to give the airbox a good clean and also underneath it a good clean, so it's just a case of unscrewing the little clamp and pulling it out. Now once it's out, we're just going to take off the four clips that's holding the casings together, which will reveal the old and dirty air filter. Now I'm going to keep this one so when I next get it serviced, I can put it back in the car so then they change it at the service and I'll have a nice fresh clean one, um, which I'll then keep in this box. Now before we go ahead and install the filter, as I said, I'm going to give it a good clean. So I'm just going to use some auto finesse engine degreaser, spray it all over, agitate it with a brush and then rinse it off with a hose. Now also in the air filter box you'll find a little foam pad. Now what I did is I took this out and gave it a hoover before putting it back in. Now once it's all dry it's just a case of putting the ITG panel filter in the air box and putting it back in the car and as simple as that. So some of you may have realised that throughout this video the engine covers haven't been on the car and that is because custom covers have actually gone ahead and it's done some custom paint work for me. So this one here is the little fuse box which goes here. And just like that, that is installed. And also he has done the main engine cover, which I'll go get now. So this, boys and girls, is my new custom cover from Custom Covers on Instagram. So let me just push it in a minute. Simple as that. It is a bit dusty, so I'm going to give it a clean in a moment. But um, it's only because it's been sat in my bedroom for the past few days. So boys and girls, there we have it. Look how good this looks. Now it is basically identical to my old car's job that he did, but... At the minute, I haven't done the badge wraps, so that will be coming very soon. But also, he's done an extra line on there, just to sort of tie it all in, which I think is pretty cool. Last time, that was just plain, plain red, but it just gives a bit more definition. But I am super, super happy with that. That looks incredible. Now, if you want to go ahead and get one of these yourself, message custom covers on Instagram, and also say you came from me, and he will give you a sweet little discount. But honestly, every single car I get from now on is having one of these done. It makes a hell of a difference. <laughs> Boys and girls, look what we have here. This is the Masata front strut brace, which basically goes along from there to there. So it will go over and it will basically stiffen up the front end. And not only that, it will look pretty cool as well. Now, if I'm going to be truly honest, I thought this would just be a case of unscrewing those and putting the new one on. I think it's still the case, but they've kindly sent me some instructions as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these instructions and uh, I'll probably just do a voiceover over the top so I can get on with it and make sure it goes on correctly and I talk it down to the correct spec. So without further ado, let's get installing. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time Met you on a Friday Half a year Yep, so uh, I've made a bit of a mistake Luckily not a big one, but um, <laughs> Some of you might have noticed that I've put the strut brace down But I've left the fuse box cover off So now I've got to take it all off again To put the fuse box cover back on <laughs> So as with any modification I do on cars, this one has kind of messed up again. You probably just saw it, but I just snapped one of these bolts. Luckily, if you have a look over here, luckily it never actually snapped in it. It just snapped, like, it just snapped and then managed, I managed to get it all out. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to call BMW tomorrow and order a new top mount bolt. But yeah, I'm gonna order a few bolts just in case and um, put it all in and get go over to my mate's garage and get it to torque it all up properly for me. So yeah. 
But other than that, avoiding all the negatives is looking pretty good. Girls, there we have it. I've now blacked out these badges using the Super Wraps uh, badge wrap vinyls. I've also done that one there as well. And then on the wheel caps, I've actually been sent from NJ Modifications new actual replacements that have the black bits already on them. Now, the original ones that are on there, the original BMW ones, stuck out quite a lot. And also, they were super corroded, which is very common. I, I'm sure you guys, if you own a BMW, you'll know how bad they get. But yeah, look how good these look. They sit flush, they're solid in there. And uh, yeah, they look really cool. I do think when I get the new wheels, I'm gonna get the floating center caps, but um, we'll have to see when that time comes. But yeah, I've also done the rear as well. Looking good. It just needs the boot ring now. And also I'll leave links to the bad wraps as well for the front and rears. Um, and you can also use them on there as well. I normally do use Super Wraps' bad wraps on those, um, but because they were corroded than that, I just thought it was easier to get a full replacement. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bench. Anyway, let's get on to the meat and potatoes of the video. These M mirror units. Now, Auto ID have actually kindly sent these units out to me for free for sort of featuring this video. So I do really appreciate it. Um, they've also chucked in an air freshener, that's pretty sweet. I'll whack that in the car in a minute. Um, there's also a thank you there. Uh, and some of their socials so you can go check them out. I'm sure most of you would have heard these anyway. Um, but yeah, let's have a look in here. So we got the outside covers, you got the frames, and then there should be the bottom as well. Yeah, that's the bottom. So yeah, we've got everything we need to replace the units. Now, I'm hoping these go okay. You guys know, if you've watched the channel for a long time, you know how sometimes taking the mirrors out don't, doesn't go too well. So, um, Oh, shake. Oh. Yeah, wish me luck and uh, let's get these fitted. So with the mirrors, you're gonna to wanna to start with the actual mirror glass itself. Now just a quick top tip for you guys, if you actually tilt the mirror glass facing the sky, it allows you to fit like a trim tool and a spatula, in my case, underneath it. And also, just another top tip, you're gonna to wanna to even the pressure throughout the whole mirror. Don't just go putting a screwdriver underneath because putting loads of pressure in one place will break it. And I know that from experience. Oh, shake. Now once it's popped out, you're gonna to wanna to undo the uh, connections on the back of the mirror and put the mirror to one side. Now next up, you're gonna to wanna to squeeze the three tabs which will push out the original cap. Then after, you wanna unscrew the actual motor itself. Now once unscrewed, it, you may need a flathead screwdriver from the back just to squeeze the clips and push it out. If you ever try it yourself, it'll make sense. Now once the motor's out, you're gonna to wanna to unscrew all the torx pieces from the inside of the mirror and then pull off the main inside wing mirror bezel. And that'll basically leave you with just the bottom part of the mirror and that's just held on with one extra torque screw. I believe it's a T10 and this will release the light as well. And in this case, we're gonna unplug the light because we're replacing it with a upgraded part. So boys and girls, the mirror unit is now apart and it's, <laughs> there's not a lot left of that, is there? But anyway, now we're ready to put the base on, which means we get to fit these sequential uh, sweeping indicators. Now I just wanna give a massive thank you to M Perform for sending these out. Um, they have supported the channel in the past. I really do appreciate that. These are proper black smoked out ones that slide and just look a little bit cleaner and they'll blend in. They'll blend in with a nice new black mirror unit. So now grab the new Auto ID bottom base and put the new light in it and plug the light back in. Now basically it is all the reverse steps now. You simply do it the same way as you did before, just in reverse pretty much. So put the bottom base in and then screw it up with the T10 Torx piece. Grab the main mirror unit and thread the wires through the hole and screw it to the metal base. Once again, replace the motor and just be careful the way you put it in, make sure you put it in the same orientation. Screw it all back together, put the mirror glass back in and then put the cover on the back. And boom, we are done. So boys and girls, there we have it. The mirror units are now on. It really does help complete the car. It's starting to look really good.
So just a quick round up of what we've done in today's video. We started off with the air filter, so that's in there. Massive thank you to ITG for that one. We then obviously did the engine covers, which are looking absolutely awesome, especially with the extra bad wraps. And then we did the strut brace, which I still haven't got the bolt for, but I have called up BMW and I've ordered a few just in case for spares as well. And we'll close this one. And also we've done the bad wraps thanks to super wraps. We've also done the MJ modification center caps, which look really cool. And we've done the uh, rear wraps as well. But look how cool these mirror units are looking now. I think it looks absolutely wicked. And also, we've got these sweeping indicators from M Perform. They are much brighter than the originals. They look ace. Boys and girls, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe. And I shall catch you guys very, very soon in a brand new video.